Hi you guys, welcome back to my comedy special. Yeah, so I, I, I do talk a lot. I like to talk a lot to myself. Um, I rock a lot too. You notice that? I'm sure you have. I'm sure somebody's like, what the fuck? Is she catatonic? No, catatonics don't talk at all, actually. But sometimes when I get so sad, I am catatonic. Like, well, not actually catatonic, but, you know, I act more catatonic. I don't say a word because I'm too depressed to open my mouth. Um, well, see, maybe that's why I don't, uh, I don't eat. Because it's like, oh, God, I have to open my mouth. It just makes me so sad. Um, and I'm already using my mouth to talk so goddamn much, so, you know, only we, we have to use it for only certain things, you know. <laughs> I just don't like to eat, you know, when I'm really sad, I can't, it's like my heart rate is just not, won't allow me to like focus on anything else. Like I'll have like hunger pangs, like really bad, but I won't be able to eat, you know, I just can't keep food down. I don't want to fucking force myself. It's like, I'll do it eventually. Eventually, eventually I'll do it. Okay, yeah. So, I guess y y y'all are wondering. Quite borderline. <laughs> That's why I, I, I go in and out of like characters and I talk to myself. Like, that's my other, hey, hey. You know, she's me. She's a part of me. She's like an extension of myself. Only she's she's the one that's responsible for giving birth to the unicorn dick that I talk a lot about. And uh you know, she's she's the critic. So I guess I imagine a man to be living inside my head that that that's always like critiquing me. So it's like my father, really. Um <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Did you know that you're really my dad? Oh my goodness. Um my dad's very old school, very conservative, very vanilla. Vanilla with a capital V. Vanilla all caps, really. All caps in a black Sharpie pen on a billboard. That's my dad. Um, but I, I do love him, and uh, I know that he loves me. But it's kind of like we don't understand each other at all, you know? I tried. I tried because I watched Mad Men, and uh, I really do understand where he's coming from. You know, but it sucks because he doesn't get this. But I mean, I would never tell him like watch my comedy if you want to understand it. Do don't you know? I mean, he can't watch fucking Robin Williams. Like, there's no way that he could watch my shit because it's too da da. You know, I I I mean, I swear a lot. You know, I swear a lot, and I talk about a lot of obscene things. You know, I talk about taking dumps on people's chest, and I talk about. You know, waking up in urine due to excessive drinking problem. And I talk about, you know, uh, fingering myself a lot. And I talk about, you know, uh, t uh, you know, rubbing my legs together in a sexually charged way that nobody else knows about. You know, at places like Advanced Financial. And uh, talk about stealing from massive corporations that are fucking evil and blood sucking. But you know, it's still stealing, right? Uh, Stealing's wrong. See, this is why you gotta question authority, kids. Question authority. Cause you know, like, what if it isn't? You know, this is a, this is an evil blood-sucking corporation I, I, that makes way too much money. I mean, they make so much money, they could like feed so many people. They could, they could like probably feed like all of Africa with like all the money that the fucking Waltons make. Fuck them, fuck them. Steal the fuck out of Walmart. Next time you're at the Walmart, like, it's not very smart to go into a place and not buy something. I will say that. That's how you get away with stealing a lot more because, like, if you just buy something, just buy something small, you know, like, a, you know, some chapstick. That's like a dollar, right? <laughs> Those rollback prices. Yeah, and then just steal the fuck. Up. The thing is, it doesn't matter, though if you steal the fuck out of that place because, you know, that th they make so much fucking money that there's no way 
that they would ever go down. But, but if, if everybody does their part, if everybody steals from Walmart, I'm sorry, if everybody steals from the Walmart, do you have any idea the difference that we could make? Maybe we could take down like all the Walmarts in like Duluth or like all the Walmarts in Peoria or all the Walmarts in uh, Albany. I don't know. It's just like, it's just a dream. It's just a dream that I have. Uh, you guys don't have to live in that dream with me, but whatever, you're, you're retarded. See, I've already done my part. I stole the fuck out of that place a long time ago and I can't do it anymore because my honesty won't allow me to. Because I can't be honest with everybody. Unfortunately, you know? You gotta lie to somebody about it. I mean, it's like you're lying by omission, you know, but you can't really like declare like, I'm stealing this. Thanks. <laughs> you know, five finger discount. I like 10 finger discount. Shit. Y'all are just stealing with one hand. Lame. You better get on your shit. <laughs> better, better be a little more proactive, buddy. Bud, buddy. I don't like when people say buddy. My friend Brad Edwards, he says that all the time. It like annoys me, something fierce. I just feel like a lot of people say buddy just because, you know, they kind of want to make things like less awkward, but I feel like it makes things more awkward. Like if you say something, like if you try to like, like say some sort of like pet name or like a name that you say to everybody, then it just seems like it's impersonal. You know, it's like if you call everybody buddy, then I'm not your real buddy, buddy. You know, it's just annoying. It's a, it's a problem that I have. Oh, but I still love you, Brad. I still love you very much. Still fuck the shit out of you. Anyway. See, it sucks. Cause like, he's a good dude. And like, I actually, um, I, I like it when people are nice to me, you know? I'm not used to people being nice to me. I'm, I'm used to people like running for the hills. Um, and it's totally understandable. Um, uh, especially, you know, borderline personality, uh, because we get such a bad reputation. It's like, you know, you just tell somebody that you're like crazy and that, you know, they just don't want anything to do with you. Uh, see, there's a stigma about mental illness. And I'm like, well, their stigma exists because people don't know about it. You know? Like, I'm sure that if you've been fucked over by, by a psycho bitch, better known as a classic borderline personality, um, I mean, there's, there had to be a time where you were like, this is, this is like fucked up her behavior or whatever the fuck. And you still stayed with her, like, cause you're an idiot and you just wanted to fuck her, right? Maybe she's hot. Maybe there's something really attractive about her. It's like, you have to take responsibility for that too. Um, but the thing is though, if, if a woman tells you like, yeah, I have this illness and she actually knows that about herself, that, that probably, like, she's probably a lot better. You know, like somebody that doesn't, for obvious reasons. But, you know, you can't... You can't, like, get mad at her because, like, that's how she is. You know? Like, if, if like, especially if she tells you that and you're like... Like, what? Like... Like, oh, something bad happened to you when you were a kid? Like, oh, that, you know... I, that sucks. I mean, that, that, it doesn't, it doesn't go away, you know? That's why those issues are still, like, coming back up, you know? But it's like, if you can't deal with that, like, don't say you can deal with that. Like, I just, I hate it when people just are overly optimistic. You know, that's what I'm saying. Art is your only hope. If you're borderline, just do that. The only hope for you, and, and you know, if you find love, the, the person uh, that you find is probably gonna be like you, you know? Uh, I just don't think it's fair for like a borderline to try to be with somebody that's not on that same level because it's it's such an excruciating thing it's such a taxing overwhelming thing and it's like you know let's face it normal people just can't do it y'all are pansies um well-adjusted people fuck you 
Obviously don't know how guns work. Maybe John Hancock could help me out. Shout to John Hancock. He's one of my favorite people in the comedy scene of Nashville because um, he's really funny and he likes guns. I'm probably gonna subscribe to his YouTube channel. He has like a YouTube channel devoted to his uh, guns, I, I guess. Um, and uh, that's cool. I don't really like guns personally. And the, the only reason I don't like them is because of, you know, well, we're suicidal. So it's not very good idea for us to even hold one. Um, we're also homicidal too, so. But here's the thing, all that homicidal, all those homicidal tendencies, you know, they just turn inward. You know, um, like, so I'll give you an example. Um, I really uh, wanted to kill myself the other day because this couple came in to my workplace. I, I work at a, a fast food juncture and uh, it just made me really depressed like seeing this couple come in and it's like they were on a date. Like they were obviously on a date, like I could tell by their like behavior. And I was like, God, like they're eating at a Wendy's on a Tuesday, like on a date. Like it was just so depressing to me. Like, I... no, it wasn't a Tuesday. It was like a Friday. Oh my God, it was a Friday. They were eating at a Wendy's on a Friday to like celebrate something like their love or like, oh, we've been together for two months. You know, girls are so stupid. They're like, oh my God, let's celebrate this pointless thing that happened, like us getting together. <laughs> It is, I don't know, it's like every, everything, and I get it, like, because I'm, like, really stupidly sentimental about stuff, but it's, like, for my own personal reasons, like, I just don't involve anybody else in it, you know? I'm so much cooler, you know, than other girls, because, you know, I, I just live in my own little world, like, that's a good thing about me, I guess, like... You don't have to worry about me nagging you because I'm too busy nagging my bean. Nagging my bean, oh yeah. That's right. You wanna nag at my bean, baby? <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. See Brad Edwards, he, he, he said something about me flicking the bean. I'm like, that's not even how I do it most of the time. I just do it with my legs because it's so much easier. It's like quicker and more efficient, you know? That's why I masturbate in public. Ah. See, y'all are on your smartphone. No, see, like nobody's gonna notice like if I'm masturbating like right next to them because they're like too busy like looking up something on Reddit, you know? <laughs> so hilarious. It's like everyone's like so entranced. So entranced by this, by the white screen. You know, it's just sad. It's just so that like we don't, you know, look up at the fucking aliens or look down at the fucking aliens. Like aliens are everywhere. They're coming out, man. They're coming out. I don't care like how fucking crazy I sound. I'm right about everything, about, except you know things I'm wrong about. But I'm definitely not wrong about the aliens. They're here. They've been here for a long time. But they're finally getting acknowledged. Except, you know, by people that are, like, Trump supporters. <laughs> no, just, here's the thing, y'all. Think for yourself. Like, why do, you, why do you have to vote? Like, voting is, like, specifically, like, not thinking for yourself. It's like you're just thinking along, like, the lines of, like, all these other people that are, you know, don't even know why they're voting. But they're just, like, told, like, oh... This is what you do. This is what you do if you're a citizen of this country and you have the ability. You try to formulate the way that you look at the world through these people that are going to do nothing but lie to you. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, it's like if I base my view on the world on like, uh, like Hillary Clinton, you know? Fuck that bitch. I, 
I just didn't trust her, you know? It's like, she might be really smart, and she might be a lot better qualified or whatever, but it's like something about her, man. Something about her. I don't like her. I don't like her at all. <laughs> I mean, she's married to a pedophile. You know, he's a fucking pedophile. Y'all don't know about that shit? It'll come out. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Like, if I was married to that fucking bitch, like, I'd probably, you know... Look at seven, seven-year-old seven girls a little differently, you know? <laughs> Just kidding. I can't even joke about that. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's stupid. It's, it's stupid that people, like, put faith in stuff that they don't really have faith in, you know? But it's like, they tell themselves that they have to do it, or they tell themselves, like, oh, this is my responsibility, or this is, this is what I, this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm like, you're not supposed to do anything. Like, why can't you question things? What are you so afraid of? Discovering. That maybe this is all a fucking sham? It is. Don't, I guess, I guess you're probably not gonna watch any more of my comedy. Boo fucking who? I don't. I don't fucking miss your seal of approval. I don't need it anyway, you know? I don't need anybody's seal of approval. That's why I'm just talking to fucking nobody out here, man. Because this is a lot better. This is a lot better than me talking to, you know, real people that are really going to shake their heads and start crying and get upset because I say something that they could possibly attribute to themselves and they don't like it. I mean, well, maybe you should change that about yourself or maybe you should be less of a shithead. How about that? You know? So if I say something and you get offended by it because you think that I'm talking about you, well, first of all, I'm not talking about you. Like, I really don't have, like, I, I have generalized people. Like, I, anybody I talk to, or anybody I talk about, rather, it's gonna be like, uh, you know, like a, a whole country of, of people, you know? That, that I hate. You know, like, like there are plenty of people, I'll give you an example. You know, y'all need examples, right? I know you do. Um, but, yeah, like, uh, um, say, uh, what are we talking about? Oh my god. Country of people. Okay, yeah, back to that. Okay, we're all doing this. You know, perhaps there are, you know, out of all the millions of people that are doing this for stupid reasons, there might be a hundred people that are doing this and they might be looking up some information on Syria. Or, you know, they might, <laughs> they might be reading about themselves and, and ways that they can help themselves and, and do something better than go see a shrink. Um, you know, maybe uh, they're looking up all the different ways that they can cook with cannabis. Uh, you know, tons of useful shit on the internet, y'all. Tons of useful shit. Um, and, uh, I, it's just, I don't want to make it seem like, like, I think that everybody is like that. But, I mean, I do. I, I, I see people like that. It's just a characteristic of my illness. It's like a black or white kind of thing. Like, I just, I have tunnel vision. You call it tunnel vision? I call it passion, baby. Passion. So, like, you know, I, I see, I see people, like, as these you know, stereotypes, I guess. But I make fun of it because, like, people already have stereotypes and then there are all these, like, politically correct douchebags that are like, oh, but is that the stereotype? You know? Okay, I have, a, I have a joke for all my gays out there. My gays, I love my gays. It's Pride Week, so I can, I can say this. Yay! I mean, I could say this anytime because, yeah, they got their rights. Woohoo! See, I'm bisexual. Please don't have any fantasies about that, okay? You should hook up with a girl, though. Maybe that's it. Like, you've been chasing dick for too long. <laughs> Time to chase the hoo-ha. Um, anyway. What are you talking about? God damn it. Lesbos? We're talking about lesbos? Gays. Okay, my gay joke. My gay joke. What do you call a gay graham cracker? A glam cracker. <gasps> They taste like sequins. <laughs> Get it? Cause like gay people love sequins. They do. It's like their favorite thing. Aside from like glitter. Glitter and sequins. Glam crackers. 